Okay, it's the uh, it's the next day. It's actually Thanksgiving morning, and uh, you can see here that the uh, snakeskin has dried uh, pretty well over the back of the bow. Now what we're going to do is um, trim off all this uh, extra extra skin and um, finish up uh, finish up the uh, the skin uh, on the bow. So. I'm going to put the camera down and show you how I go about doing that. Okay, so um, basically what I do is I just put some, uh, this is 60 grit uh, sandpaper, on a regular sanding block. And then what you do, you just uh, carefully sand down the edges and what that does that separates and cuts the uh, the skin and it leaves a nice uh, finished edge on the snake skin. The snake skin itself is not very thick so you don't have to press really hard to get it to cut but uh, you just go down and do this along the whole edge of the bow there. Now you don't want to you don't want to come up this way. You want to go down away from the skin because you don't want to take the chance of lifting it up off the bow or maybe tearing it uh, away from the bow. So just go in one direction away from the uh, away from the bow or away from the skin. Like I said before, it's, snake skin itself is very thin, so it doesn't really take much to uh, to get it cut and separated. Like that. See how nice that edge is. You just gotta clean up some of the glue lines that are here. Get some sandpaper and sand off all that extra glue. But you can see uh, the difference between the excess skin and how it's just been uh, sanded off. I'm gonna do the rest of the bow and then we'll turn the camera back on when we're done. But that's pretty much how you uh, how you finish off the uh, the edges. Done. Um, I went ahead and uh, finished up the uh, edges of the uh, snake skin and um, uh, pretty much just uh, sanded off the, uh, the extra glue uh, that over you know that uh, squeezed out of the sides here so it's pretty uh, pretty clean now so you can see how the snake skin looks on the back of the bow one thing I forgot to notice is as you're uh, sanding it you kind of want to bevel uh, the edges a little bit so that um, you could see a little bit of the wood sticking out of the side, especially around where the um, where the arrow pass is. Uh, you could see here I've got some wood exposed um, because that way, if, if when the arrow passes uh, through this area, it doesn't pick up um, you know the edge of the skin and then rip it off the the back of the bow. So you always want to keep like a a slight bevel um, as you're sanding and uh, and uh, reduce the edges of the uh, the skin uh, you know uh, before the you, you don't want it uh, sand it up all the way up to the edge you want to have a slight bevel here so that um, you know it doesn't pick up uh, any uh, edge off the skin and then uh, rip it off the bow so uh, that's one uh, detail that you should uh, keep in mind when you're uh, when you're applying a snake skin or even a rawhide backing on a bow. Okay, so uh, you can also see here where the tips, the transition to the tips uh, came out pretty clean, nice and snug up against the bottom of the tip there. And um, this bow is ready to be uh, stained and, uh, and finished.
So uh, there you go. That's how I uh, apply snakeskin backing to the back of a bow. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and a happy Thanksgiving. Cash Duke Bowcraft, thanks for watching. One more thing I forgot to uh, do is um, how you uh, take the scales off the skin. And basically what I just did, I just put a, uh, some masking tape over the top of the skin, you know, flattened it out, and then um, pulling it off very carefully. And you can see all the, uh, you can see all the uh, scales coming off. You might have to do this a few times to get them all, but you can see that all the scales have come off and um, makes for a smoother surface. Alright, so that's how I take the scales off the, uh, off the skin.